Hello everyone. So I think since my last video, I hearthed up here. I just ran down here to turn in the quests that I finished over on Silver Mist Isle. So this one is for the disguise one. The traitor is going to wish he never messed with Alliance Naval Command. I can't believe it. It was the gnome all along. I should have known. Spark must have must be brought to justice. I need you to go down to the beach and find that deceitful gnome. Once you find him, get whatever information you can out of him. If a high-ranking official of the Alliance has committed treasonous acts, who knows how many others are corrupt? And lunacy. Use force if you have to. Admiral Odysseus at Odysseus's Landing wants you to recover the traitor's communication from Engineer Spark Overgrind. Although none of those is going to be an upgrade for me. I'll be able to vendor it. So reclaiming the runes. Elune be praised. The restless spirits may find tranquility after all. And rune covered tablet. You found something? I can't read these runes, but I know someone who can. Warlord Sristus. Adamant, could you please take a look at this tablet and try to decipher the runes? Of course, anything for you, darling. Alright, let me take a look at that tablet. Archaeologist Adamant Ironheart slowly reads the tablet, mouthing the words in their native tongue. Naga Warlord, oh dear. Well, you aren't going to like what I have to tell you, young missy. This tablet is a Naga communication. Their leader, Warlord Srizdiz, has ordered his Naga to take the rest of the island by force, and it looks like he's got reinforcements coming to Nazjatar. We've got to do something about this. Thank you, Adamant. I think I know just the person for the job. Warlord Sristas. A Naga invasion would be disastrous, Lunacy. I've seen what Naga can do, and I would not want to see such a catastrophe befall any being. If I were to guess, this Warlord Sristas will be hidden in a cave, probably along the coast to the west. Find Warlord Sristas and put an end to his reign. And precious and fragile things need special handling. Don't come back without some ancient relics. My pappy would be proud. His boy strikes it big at the first set of night elf runes he comes across. With your help, of course. Yes, don't worry. I won't leave you out of the discovery. Your name is Lunacy, right? They'll learn about you in Ironforge. Lovely story. So I'm gonna go... Oh, well, first I'm going to talk to Mr. Trader Engineer over here. Can you see that I'm busy? It's over, Spark. The Admiral knows it was you who betrayed the Alliance. Now you're either going to cooperate with me and tell me everything that you know, or we're going to engage in some fisticuff. So he laughs. 
Does it frighten you to know that there are those who would serve the Legion with such devotion as to remain unwavering citizens of your pointless civilizations until called upon? Live in fear, die by the will of Kalthas. It's all the same. And now I cut you. He did not cut me. He did not cut me hard enough. Show no mercy. <laughs> Show no mercy. I got it. Did you find that lying dog? Incredible. This was all part of their master plan. This information must reach the king and your own leaders. The implications are staggering. Um, deliver them from evil. You must get this information to your people, Lunacy. While your brave acts have certainly slowed down the plans of Kalthas and his dark master, the attacks will undoubtedly continue. Take the traitor's communication to your leaders. They must see this for themselves. Perhaps they will be able to better understand some of what is written. So deliver the traitor's communication to Exarch Nanelus at Azerwatch. Yep. So I have to go and kill the Naga leader, or warlord. I'm actually going to stay on land instead of swimming it. Oh, and there's an earth root along the way. Like she said, he's probably going to be in a cave marked on my map. I was hoping that some of the stags I would see were going to be the ones that are for the quest. But those will probably have to be more north of here. Now oh, there's one. One is better than none. So I have to Find this. There we go. This cave. Usually I'm not a big fan of caves, but since I'm a higher level than everything, I'm not too worried about it. And since I'm not playing hardcore mode, that's mainly what stresses me out. <laughs> what it has to do with caves or swimming in water with murlocs. Oh, 
it's a buff. I was like, why is there bucks coming up in a cave full of naga? It doesn't layer correctly with the uh, the add-on. I imagine I have to go all the way down to the deepest part of the cave to kill the warlord. I did hit level 15, which means new talent point. It's a shame that I couldn't have the quests at the same time to kill these guys and the warlord. Maybe if I brought the tablet back first, but the tablet did drop off of these guys, so it's kind of a catch-22. Oh, there, there he is. Okay. I was like, I really don't see him. He's hiding behind the pillar. All right. And my hearthstone is on cooldown. have to run it all the way back. I'm surprised that he aggroed, to be quite honest. For a second I thought those were supposed to be sharks, but they're the ships from Odysseus. So to avoid all the mobs, I'm going to pretty much retrace my steps back the way I came. Was hoping that that was one of the quest mobs. Lots of cats over here, though. There he is. I suspect he's the same one that I killed on the way down there, though. Maybe.
refresh my buffs regularly. I honestly can't wait until glyphs, which I do have spots for them. But I definitely want the glyph to make my thorns last longer. That's a very important one to me, as a 10 minute buff is simply not long enough when you're out questing, especially if you're reading your quests out loud. And let's see what she says. Warlord Stristris. With Warlord Stristris dead and the possibility of a Naga invasion is now only a distant memory. We are safe for the time being. I must admit, I was wrong to think badly of you, Lunacy. You have shown that you are nothing like the filth that was Archimond, except this gift from the Night Elves. Of course, this is meant for um, Draine. She's not aware that I'm a Night Elf. <laughs> so I'm going to head back north. Actually, before I even do that, I'm going to vendor. A bunch of random junk. Then head north. I'm going to turn in, deliver them from evil, and then probably continue north and kill some more stags. And then after that, I, if the hunter trainer doesn't send me on another adventure, I will head north to Still Pine. I did not realize I had mail. So I will also check my mail because it is from a quest giver, so it might pertain to story. Mathrigil Bearwalker. Greetings, young druid. I'm quite proud of the effort you put into your training given to you thus far. You should feel proud to have become one of the claw. More such lessons will be giving, given. The next of your lessons will be available once you have reached at least 14th level. When you are ready at that time, seek me out in the Cenarian Enclave of Darnassus. So, of course, he did send that to me once I did my bear quest. And as I'm now over level 14, he does have another quest for me in Darnassus. You have returned. Exarch Menelaus takes out the letter from you and begins to read it. Damn them. Damn them all to the nether. They, they've had a spy watching everything that we've done, and for how long? I will notify Villain at once. He 
You've done us a great service, Lunacy. Be on guard, as I will be contacting you once the Prophet has given me instruction as to what to do. So now I'm going to go kill some stags. I don't imagine it'll take me too long. As long as they're as plentiful as the other ones. which they do seem to be pretty plentiful. In fact, these should be the last two that I need. And he dropped a sword, which I can't use as a druid, but it's two silver worth of money to the vendor. And I'm curious if he's going to send me out on another adventure. I really do wish that there was a druid trainer somewhere on this island. The buck hides are rugged and strong, making for very tough flesh, almost inedible. But we can use them for other purposes. Wonderful. You're turning into quite the hunter, Lunacy. How would you like to look more like me? Well, here's your chance. While you were out hunting, I fashioned these items out of some buck hides I had lying around. Take your pick. Neither of them is an upgrade, unfortunately. But that is my hundredth quest. I'm curious if he had anything interesting. I could buy five vials from him while I'm at it. And now I'm going to head up to Still Pine Hold. I do still need more linen cloth because I need nine more skill points in order to start um, using wool cloth. I never picked up fishing on this character. Interesting. have a fishing pole. 
very interesting. I know the fishing pole was um, from the quest right over here, but I, I thought I had picked it up from her, the skill itself. That's okay, that's not something I would probably do on stream as a part of this series. Maybe as like a separate sounds video because of the water splashing, but we'll see. So I'll turn in this one first since I'm sure he wants to introduce himself. Still pine hold. For centuries, we lived in relative peace with the creatures of the land. Several months ago, curs began to see dark omens. The peace that we enjoyed for so long was to be lost. The extent of the catastrophe could not be known. So it would be that the gods would shatter our land turning both friend and foe against us. But there was something else. Amidst the chaos, a hero would rise. A hero not of still pine blood. The promised one would deliver us from devastation. That prophesied hero was you. So they tell me. But I am modest. Beasts of the Apocalypse. My brother and I were hunting in the woods to the east when we were ambushed by strange insect-like like beasts. Such aberrations have never before been seen in Azermist. Could they be a sign of the coming apocalypse? Could the, the apocalypse that you are destined to prevent? If you truly are the promised one, you will strike these the creatures of the apocalypse down and bring me their hides. From their hides, I can fashion armor of great power. Find them to the east, beyond the road. Murlocs. Why here? Why now? These are dark days, promised one. Even the murlocs are kicking our tails, literally. Unfortunately, more than just my ego has been bruised. While our relationship with the sylphed fin murlocs has always been tenuous, never could we have imagined that they would have the gall to attack us and steal from our food stores. Travel west to the silting shore and recover our stolen foodstuffs. And if you see a dark-skinned murloc with a patch of white fur stuck in between its webbed toes, Gurf at Stillpine Hold on Azermist Island wants you to recover five sacks of Stillpine grain. So he's kind of asking for me to get revenge on the one that kicked him in the tail, I think. But first, I'm going over to the Ravagers and take care of those. Oops. I can't type. I can't type and talk. <clears throat> there is a um, achievement for slash loving um, certain critters around Azeroth, so I 
sometimes find myself doing that emote in hopes to get that achievement unintentionally without having to go around and hunt down the critters that I need for it. I am going to start using my boggling roots. So those are just sitting in my inventory. But they only increase physical damage. So for the next 10 minutes, I'm going to be doing some melee. Well, my mana regenerate. I have full mana. I'm going to be casting my spells naturally. They do look quite apocalyptic as far as creatures go, I will admit. Once I hit 75, I'll be maxed out on the stabs until I level up. I think I'm going to get a food buff, to be honest, since my health is lacking a little bit. Might as well get a food buff going, since that'll also increase my spirit, which will in turn help me regenerate mana. A native cloak. Uh, not an upgrade, though. I'm really hoping I hit 75 in staves soon. <laughs> when it is the max level for your level, it does take a little bit.
But that is the last quest item I need. So I'm going to head back to the camp. I'm going to vendor a few items because I do believe they have a vendor there. I don't remember this many aggressive mobs being on the trail, I have to say. Maybe it's because this content was part of the new expansion when Burning Crusade came out. Maybe they wanted to challenge players. So I'm going to turn that Ravager quest in and see what that Furbolg has to say. They are ugly little creatures. Even the blind watcher could see them, and he's blind. Not only is the prophecy true, this armor is also amazing. Surely it is armor fit for a champion, and I will sell it to you at discounted prices, furless one. I just... the first piece is complimentary. So that belt is pretty nice. It has intellect on it, as to opposed to my other one. But it does have less armor. Because it's cloth, I gotta keep the leather on, unfortunately. And I do notice that a couple of quests did pop up over here, so before I go kill Murlocs, I'm gonna see what they have to say. Search still pine hold as high chief. My immediate concern is the root of the corruption in Stillpine Hold. Why did the Wildkin, once our allies, attack us? Why have they taken residence in Stillpine Hold? Perhaps something inside will hold the answer. Search Stillpine Hold for clues as the source of corruption. Chieftain Umuru, I am Stillpine the Younger, heir to my still heir to the Stillpine legacy. As you can see, my defenders have a set up have set up a death trap for the ravaging wildkin that attack from inside the Stillpine hold. While we are able to hold them off out here. None of my defenders have been able to infiltrate the hold. If you could get inside and slay their leader, it might give us an opportunity to strike. Find Chieftain Umuru and destroy him. Slay any crazed wildkin that you encounter inside as well. Still Pine the Younger? At Still Pine Hold on Azermist Isle, wants you to slay Chieftain Umuru and nine crazed wildkin. I am going to vendor this belt. Since I am going to go kill some murlocs. And it looks like there's another quest over there.
called Gurf's Dignity. So I assume that's going to be the murloc in question that he mentioned. I'm not too interested in fighting a level 8 since he's not for a quest. I'm thinking that that is who I'm looking for for that quest. Yes, so Gurf's Dignity. You recover the piece of fur that Gurf had lost in his struggle with the Murlocs. Return the fur to Gurf and let him know that the fearsome Murgurgurla has been slain. Those are some decent leggings, but I don't need the agility, unfortunately. Unfortunately, it looks like a lot of these murlocs are casters, so I will have to run after my loot. I am going to drink some water to try and get some of my mana back because I am really going through it quickly regardless of my little four spirit from my food buff. I thought that there used to be some grain that would be on the ground that you could loot, which it may still, but somebody might have been through here recently and looted it already. I really want him to come out of the water, though. There we go. Just because I have really bad depth perception. So the water in this game is not always my friend. As long as it's in shallow water, it's okay. Good thing he's at least dropped water, because at this rate I am finding it hard to have mana at all. I actually see some on the ground right there.
So it does still spawn, just maybe a little more sparsely than I remember. And it looks like our friend has already respawned. Uh, he wants to play. He did at least drop some grain. So I'm gonna still continue to try and drink some water. Unfortunately, it's the only drink my character has. Since it's designed for a little bit lower level, it is not quite as efficient as I wish it was, but it'll do. Well, that one certainly dropped a lot, but not grain. There we go. Now to run back to Still Pine. And I'm sure I'll aggro plenty of random mobs along the way, but I'm not going to be too worried about them. The ones that you slay, like the rats, or the spiders, or the roaches, the icky ones. Murlocs, why here, why not? A murloc kicked me in the behind and spit on me in broad daylight. Mmm, delicious grain. Our cat will be delighted. Gurf's dignity. Is that what I think it is? Gurf spits on the clump of fur and tries to affix it to the hairless patch on his backside. This will have to do for now. Hopefully one of the shaman will be able to repair the damage. It does have more armor on it. So I am going to put on the leather pants. I'm going to vendor all the stuff that I got from the murlocs. All right, into the cave I go. OK, 
As you can see, it's quite chaotic at the entrance of this cave. So the chieftain is up here. It's cloth. I just have to kill some more of the normal owlkins. But then I believe there is like a crystal or something. I don't want to pull another one since I'm completely out of mana. I don't think I ever hit... Yeah, I didn't hit 75 with my stabs yet. Yeah, it's over here that uh, I get to turn that other quest in. And it summons the the dog that there's several corpses of sitting around. So I'm gonna drink another water. Before I summon him. The blood crystal radiates a sickly aura that seeps into the water of the cave. On the surface, the crystal appears to be a piece of the Exodar. Something has gone terribly wrong with this crystal, however, as it is blood red and rapidly dissolving into the water supply of the cave. This may explain the unusual, unusually aggressive behavior of the creatures in Azermus style. Return to High Chief Stillpine with this information. And that summons two angry wildkin. Maybe the dog is for a separate quest and he's just waiting on a respawn timer? Maybe? I do need one more 
wildkin before leaving. You gonna pull the other one? Nope. I thought he might pull this one here. We are approaching an hour long. So I think I'm gonna finish up what's left in these caves and then I'll call it for this video. My chief still pine. These blood crystals that you saw. My scouts have seen many more to the north. I thank you for aid, but now ask that you leave me to confer with the elders. I will call for you once I have spoken with the other elders of the village. Chieftain Umuru. This may very well be the opportunity that we needed. I will send an attack at once. The Stillpine thank you for your service, Lunacy. And that is also a small upgrade. Stillpine Raiders, the time to strike is at hand. Charge. Meanwhile, I'm going to visit the vendor and the Kirkin is lurking. After the crystal storm had subsided, a beast of myth appeared in our village, brought here by the invading wildkin. This beast, the Kirkin, laid waste to our village. Many Stillpine were slain in defense of our lands by this fiend, and many have since lost their lives attempting to subdue the beast. In my visions, I have seen one defeat the Kirkin. The one must be you, Lunacy. You are our only hope. Enter Stillpine Hold and slay the Kirkin. Bring me his hide as proof of deed. So hopefully he has respawned, because I did see that that shaman slayed him. But as he's a quest mob, usually they respawn relatively quickly. as did the wildkin, it looks like. We're almost at one gold. But I'm sure once I find a druid trainer, a lot of my money is going to disappear to new spells. And it does look like he has respawned. And I just take that hide to that guy, that quest giver.
before I make my next video, I might venture to a druid trainer to upgrade my quests and then bring my, my character back to where I left off. I'm not going to be doing that tonight because I am going to head to bed after this video since I do have work in the morning, but I probably should do that before my next video because I notice my spells are not as strong as they could be. Kurz grunts at you. The promised one has emerged victorious. The prophecy is nearly complete. Now, about that hide. Take the Kurkin's hide to Mur Murdu on the other side of the village. He will fashion the hide into an item of your choice. Um... I guess the leather, because it has more armor even though it has agility. I can tell that the Draenei can be hunters, because all the leather has agility on it. Oh, he has another quest too, though. I think he sends me up to Blood Mist. Warn your people. The hold is saved, and soon my people will make their way back to the ancestral home. The prophecy has come to pass, and a new age of prosperity begins for the Stillpine. But I fear that darkness looms ahead for your own people. There are questions left unanswered. Visions of prophecy unseen. Return, return to your leaders and tell them of what you have seen here and promised one. Should you ever require the aid of Stilpine, you have merely to ask. I keep saying, my people. I am not a Draene, though. Kirken Hyde. Hello, hero. This is the strongest armor I have ever made. Make good use of it, Lunacy. So I'm actually going to hearth since he's sending me back here, anyways. And warn your people. Visions, you say? Interesting. And this prophecy has come to pass? But you say they saw the power core of the Exodar? And Oros was also in the vision? What can it mean? I think that is it for this video. Um, next time, I will more than likely be heading up here, right up here actually, to Blood Mist Isle. Um, like I said, I'm probably going to visit a trainer at some point and pick up my upgraded spells because I can tell that the wrath is not the strongest. I am having to cast it more times to kill my enemies. So I hope you guys have a good night and sweet dreams and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!